Hey folks, Quillotine here, and uh, welcome to Let's Play a Little Hearthstone. It is the Whispers of the Old God, we've opened all our packs, now it's time to actually play a few games. Now, I have played a couple already, with some of these uh, decks that I've constructed, just to try to get a feel for uh, what's going to work and make some tweaks and all that. And what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the fun one. We're going to start off with the my Renounced Lock, which is actually a completely dumb random deck. This is not going to be a first serious deck. Um... Oh, I didn't realize it was not complete. Well, I guess we'll have to go and complete it. Cthulhu Druid is actually potentially possible as a serious deck, and we'll go, or Cthun, I suppose people say, um, a little bit more serious. But we're going to play with this Renounce Lock. Right, I took out a couple of cards because I want to add a little bit in. So the whole thing with this deck, which is very silly, is this Renounce Darkness ability replaces your Hero Power and Warlock card with another class. So those cards cost one less. This is a card you need to cast as soon as possible. The whole point of this, because you're going to be getting completely random cards from a completely random class, um, and since it's not really well constructed, the only advantage you're going to have, other than the fact that it's hilarious and fun, is the fact that the cards cost less. Therefore, it's really important to get this off as early as possible. Now, it's worth noting, it only replaces your Warlock cards with this. It doesn't replace your neutrals. So I do have a, a few neutrals in here. Uh, I figure our Swamp Ooze isn't bad. Um, what else do I have? Knife Juggler. Sort of like early game cards that are going to be fine and help me either um, sort of maintain board control until I can lock in the rest of the deck or be a little bit aggressive. And I'm, I'm wondering if I've actually just like sort of split a kind of middle ground here and it's not aggressive enough but not controlly enough. You know, it has a few Zoo Warlock elements and a few non um, so I'm really not convinced this is a particularly good configuration but it is what it is I have two cards left to uh, to add in here and because the neutrals don't get replaced I thought it might be a good idea to include a couple of neutrals that are good for the late game so some like big fat um, neutral um, legendaries or something like that that may work very well in the late game we could use Sawgoth the Slither I mean I was not particularly happy to get this guy as a legendary but I have to say I mean he is big and beefy he is a big hard wall that will um, that will be quite hard to remove and you usually get two to one whether he's that good or not I don't know I might just decide to throw him in just because he's a new card hell that's a good logic he's new therefore I will do that um, of course, if we don't get a Dr. Boom, that would be a great addition, well, literally to every single deck ever made, no matter what. Um, you know, Chromagus, that's interesting, because, again, we might be getting somewhat cheaper cards, so anything that gives you an extra card draw, or doubles your cards that you've drawn, effectively is worth slightly more in this format, or this ability, because your cards are cheaper. Might be one of the ideas, and actually, late game, because by the time I cast this guy, I'm going to have a lot of mana, and if I'm still getting a lot of cheap cards, then I actually want to be able to cast two at a time. So that's the idea. Kind of a lot of card draw into getting Renounced Darkness as early as possible. I'm, I'm not convinced that this particular setup for the deck is smart in any way whatsoever. I do like my Cthun deck, and we're going to talk about that um, after. So, it is uh, it is 10 a.m. Eastern Time. I don't know how many people are going to be playing, but let's give it a bit of a go. Only rank 18, because again, I have not been playing a whole lot of Hearthstone since, uh, since 2015. So... We'll see if we can find someone. It is Hearthstone. There's almost always someone playing, right? So we should be able to find someone, and we will drop this ginormous Renounce Warlock deck on them. It's going to be a lot of RNG. I'm, I'm saying best case scenario, we have a 50-50 chance. Best case, and that's assuming I don't completely screw up here. Um, Mortal Coil starting early is going to be quite nice. The Loot Hoarder does give us a redraw. Uh, so we could do something like this. I mean, the other alternative is literally just mulliganing everything to look for a Renounced Darkness hard. Um, but this is, you know, on curve, and they both have card draw, so I guess it's relatively good. Another Mortal Coil. All right. Well, that's a thing. And, of course, we can use our Warlock ability to grab that. So I don't know what uh, Cantonese guy over here is going to be playing. I do expect to see a lot of Cthun stuff at this point um, because it's new and exciting. Um, I don't know, like... I mean, there's plenty of still really good solid mage cards that don't involve um, Whispers of the Old God, God Silliness. There's actually some new Freeze Synergy, which would be interesting to see. Uh, the the Giants are not really in in the same way, but... So we got our Sogoth back. Excellent! You know what makes me really happy on turn one is to draw something that costs nine. That is like... I'm Obviously, I'm super good at this game because I have the ability to draw nine casting cost cards on turn one. Alright, play 2-1. Play 2-1. I don't usually interact with the map. Every time I make these videos, someone's always like, you should play with more stuff on the map. But if I do that, I'm not thinking about my moves, so... Sorry, guys, I'm not... I mean, I'm 
try not to play too much. Right now, there's not a whole lot of options for me. Obviously, oh, all right. Well, then, ooh, very, ooh. I think we do start with a knife juggler here. Because it can't be pinged. I mean, pinging the loot hoarder is not terrible because I do draw a card, but it would be nice to get a board present. I still think this knife juggler, while it has been nerfed, I think it is still a fine and solid card. Um, a little bit less, you know, complete, unutter board dominance, because he's a little easier to kill. It doesn't make as much of a difference against the mage. Either you're going to frostbolt it or not, either way, uh, old stats or new. Although, you could double ping it, which actually wouldn't be too mad. If the mage did nothing but ping the knife juggler this turn, and then pinged it again next turn, that wouldn't be the worst possible play, depending on whatever, uh, Jaina has in her hand. Oh, yeah, you have to squelch. Mandatory squelching. So next turn, what, what would be really ideal is if you put down something with two health, I put down the loot hoarder, it gets plunked by the knife juggler, and then I mortal coil it, that'll be great. Although I suppose if it's two health, I could just, rather than risk the loot hoarder, I could just double mortal coil. Although the first one won't draw anything, so that wouldn't be good. What the hell are you doing there, uh, Jaina? It's turn two, why are you roping? I wonder if they've just gone AFK, this might be just like a super easy win. Have we seen them mouse over their cards or anything in a while? They might have just gone AFK. Now the pro strategy, when someone has done that, and they've roped, is to just play as quickly as possible, and don't give enough time to get home. To get back to their computer in case they're peeing. Because they got a short-term rope here. I don't think this ends the game, but I think if they rope here, and then... Oh, no, no, they're playing. Alright, Forgotten Torch. Fair enough. Am I still happy with having played that? Because I did play fast? I think so. And, I mean, I, I'm tempted to start life tapping. Because I do need to draw into my thing as early as possible. But it, it feels like it's pretty hard to resist that. Now, if I do really want to dig into my deck, what I could do is Mortal Coil on my own Loot Hoarder. Draw two cards from that move. I think that's probably pretty stupid. But it is an interesting possibility. So I would have, like, I'm upset that we haven't renounced darkness already. I'm, I'm really disappointing. I mean, we haven't, we haven't done anything to draw cards, and we did a pretty shallow mulligan, so I guess that one's on me. But I mean, I don't want to renounce darkness on turn, like, six or seven. Then all of a sudden, like, who cares about the, the cheaper mana cost? I know, we'll see how this goes. At least the, uh, the Imp Gang boss goes still really well with the Knife Juggler. Oh my god, slowest player... I know it's only rank 18, so there's still a lot of people who might be relatively new and takes them longer to think about stuff. Oh my god, I'm dying here, you guys. This is the other reason I don't do a lot of, um, <laughs> a lot of uh, Hearthstone stuff. Alright, you put down a secret now. Well, in case it's like an incinerate, I suppose I should just attack with the loot hoarder first. See what that does. Incinerate thing. Ice barrier. Okay, so you got the armor secret, which is not terribly useful. Uh, I've got nothing good in my hand, so it's a great opportunity to life tap. Oh my... Seriously! Yeah, let's just draw all our most expensive shit. Because, you know, I'm super good at this game. Because I can obviously draw both my legendaries really early in the game and then not have anything useful to cast. I mean, it's a good thing that this mage is not putting out any threats. And it's still going to take forever to think about their turn. Guys. 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 And I'm still going to lose. <laughs> it's not like I have a good deck here. Uh, I can't believe these mortal coils are just sitting in my goddamn hand. I'm really tempted on next turn to like attack with everything and then mortal coil my own dude here. It would be very boring if we can't show off the Renounced Darkness. I wonder. Yes, you wonder. I wonder what you're thinking. Oh, oh we're going to coin. All right. What took you 10 minutes to figure out? All right, Blood Mage. All right, you're actually, you know, playing multiple things. Kona Cold. All right. Good move. Clearly, that took a long time to figure out. Oh, come on with the ping. Well, I'll still be able to kill that. Give her a card draw. My god, just end your turn! You don't have any mana left! Arrgh. God damn it. Demon fire is quite interesting here.
So we got the mortal coils. I mean, what I think is going to happen is I think I'm going to mortal coil this guy. See what I draw. Life tap. See what I draw. Demon fire the imp gang boss is the assumption here. All right, well, let's take the opportunity to mortal coil. She'll draw a card too, but that is not quite useful right now. Let's life tap. Power of one might be quite fun as well. So yeah, I'm going to demon fire this thing so that I can keep getting a lot more imps. doesn't help me this turn. It still dies to like a... Um, uh, the seven mana, four damage to everything thing. But it makes it slightly harder to kill. Can't just be frostbolted or anything like that. I mean, I could have power overwhelming or something like that, but no reason to do that. Wait until she puts down a threat, and then I can power overwhelming the little imp to kill it or something to that of that nature. So we're going to be on seven mana. We've got a mitt full of cards. We've got, I mean, we've got some class cards in here. So if we renounce, at least you know. We've got some amount of stuff in our hand that will get replaced, although we do have three neutral cards in our hand that won't get replaced. It also doesn't change your cards in hand, in play, rather. It doesn't change your stuff in play, just deck and hand. Well, we're obviously going to have to play another game of this, but... Just take your turn! I mean, okay, too many people play too, uh, Hearthstone too fast, but... And now, like with, you know, six mana and so many cards in hand, now it's kind of a legitimate time to take your turn, your time, but... Earlier on? No. I think this person's just trolling me. This wouldn't bother me as much if I wasn't being if I wasn't recording, because I probably would be watching Netflix in the other window. And you're gonna rope again. Hey, that's Murgleton. Oh lord. Are you just AFK again? Maybe you have a really bad connection. Well, if I don't win with all this AFK, I'm clearly doing something wrong. So I'm going to start with a life tap. And then I'm going to dump some neutrals. Uh, Alright, so she might decide to, like, flame explosion me next turn. That's okay, I don't mind losing that. I'm just trying to decide if I also want to put down the acidic swamp booze. And make a more traffic explosion. I suppose I should wait. I don't F it. I've got, like, tons of stuff. You know what? Go ahead and blow everything up right now. Flame wave? Fire cast? <laughs> well, guys, that was the Renounced Darkness deck. Uh, I hope you found it very interesting to watch how Renounced Darkness is such an interesting uh, card to play. All right, we'll do one more at this, and then we'll cut the video, then I'll, I'll do a, a Katun run on, uh, on a follow-up video. That's what happens when you play at 10 a.m. Eastern Time on the America's servers. I mean, everyone on the West Coast is asleep. This is also a weekday. All right, Priest. This actually is not going to go well. I don't like fighting Priest with this. Um, extra card. So I'll keep the Loot Hoarder. Oh man, the Night Juggler just so good early on. Like, <laughs> keeping this is actually like a really good hand for a more standard gameplay. But I feel like I should just go nuts into finding Renounced Darkness. It's hard to resist this hand though. The early game pressure? I'm going to keep it. I feel like I'm going to disappoint people by not just digging for Renounce, but that's actually really, really quite good, because... Alright, that's a bit annoying, actually. And you're holding a dragon. Yeah, because now I can't do my opening play. So I think next turn we might just coin Shadow Bolt that. So now I'm really upset that I didn't just draw harder. Because anything I'll play, he'll just kill and then heal up, and still have his 2-3. What an amazing turn one drop for you, buddy. A 2-3 on turn one against what I've got? Token heal for nothing. Well, at least it means you didn't do anything. There's my renounce! So, do I renounce instantly? Or do I kill this thing first? I think I should kill this thing first. Because once I lose the Shadow Bolt, we're in a bad position. So I will just go and do that. 
I don't want this thing to start getting buffed. I don't want to get in a position where I can keep trading with stuff, because I'm still going to have these three neutrals in my hand once I renounce. Alright, 2-4 taunt. Fair enough at this point. I drew another neutral. Excellent. Uh, we've got nothing to do but to put down a creature that's just going to die to that. Um, so I'm going to take the opportunity to renounce now. We might... I mean, I only have one class card in my hand. But it's possible... Now that's interesting, actually. Uh, it was possible that we drew something that would have only cost one, therefore we gave it an S of zero casting cost. This is not a particularly good setup here. I wonder if, like, all the knife juggler stuff should just come out. Alright, so you've got, like, perfect curve. Well, not literally perfect, because turn two he didn't have anything. We've got King Crush. Very interesting. Um, I know, I realize this is going to trade poorly, but we've got to just start getting some stuff down. And... Yeah, and some card draw. So we're just going to do that. Of course it would hit him. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter because he can heal it. But why wouldn't it hit one of his minions? I wield the power of black. Again, like, other than the turn, um, turn two, where he just did a token heal. He's had perfect curve, and he's got the dragon combo and everything. Uh, I don't actually have a beast at all. I mean, King Crush is a beast, but this doesn't particularly help me right now. I think what I have to do is trade the Loot Hoarder in here, and then kill Command for the finish. Well, we'll see what the Loot Hoarder gives me. One of your minions is attacked. And it is a beast that would wake things up. Also, it's a great combo with the Knife Juggler. What's the timing? Does this go off before the minion takes damage? I don't know. I don't play, uh, I don't play Hunter. But I think so. Maybe the order of play here makes it a little suspicious. Now, should I still kill command now? Yeah, because he's going to be healing his stuff and whatever, so if I do that, I'll increase the chance. I mean, the snake trap knife juggler stuff, assuming that the snake trap goes off first, isn't going to kill anything, but he would have just healed up his dude. Oh, yeah. So he realizes it's a snake trap. Oh, and he can do that for free, which is nice. At least we get the Gladiator's long Longbow after this, but we can't actually kill this. So what a what a shit situation we've got going on here. And we can't afford this. Well, so it's just GG. Okay. Well. That was less than great. A perfectly curved out Dragon deck. Again, except for that turn two. Maybe I should have done a different mulligan. You know, maybe it's my own fault for not having a slightly different mulligan, but we had zero chance of ever grabbing board control, given our, our existing situation. Um, I suppose I didn't have to renounce right there, but I'm, I'm still not sure what else I would have done. Could, should I save the coin and not Shadow Bolted? Should I have just brought a better deck? Like, even including a better constructed um, um, one of these. So I'm still not... This is very annoying that I still have not um, started with renounce. And I could just mulligan here, looking for the renounce. But the thing is, like, that's a pretty solid start. And helps counter the little minion dude here. Oh, I still have to make my Paladin uh, uh, Murloc deck. The Demon Fire is actually quite good, because I can go turn one Flame Imp, turn two, probably Demon Fire, and all of a sudden we're talking about having a 5-4 on the board. And then turn three Imp Gang, so the Knife Juggler's not going to do a whole lot. And at no point are we actually hunting for a Renounce. Why can't I just start with the Renounce in my hand? Oh yeah, that's the other thing I put in here for fun. This is not a good card, and I don't think uh, synergizes particularly well with what I've got. Um, trying to remember all the Paladin Secrets. I wonder if it might be better to Knife Juggler here. Well, no, because... Uh, he can't get... The, the defender doesn't help defend him, right? So I could attack basically safely, drop the knife juggler, and then set up for a better turn three. 
I don't think I'm wrong. I don't... Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I mean, I could hit him with 5-4. There we go. You're going to drop my health to 1? That's what I expected. That was the other one. I'm like, oh, well, that's fine. Who cares if it drops the health to 1? Better do it on him than the Imp Gang boss, which is what would have happened next turn. And that was the other reason. Oh, oh, and I didn't think of uh, the follow the rules. Now I'm really happy I saved the Demon Fire. Because it seems to me like the obvious play here is Demon Fire on the Imp, which makes him a 3-4. Kill that, and just go for face, and call that a turn. Alternatively, I could drop the ink, Imp Gang Boss, hope it knives this guy, and then just trade him with the Knife Juggler. But I, that seems pretty poor to me. I could also use a spell on there, but again, it doesn't really advance us. I could use Power Overwhelming. Nope, I like it. Boom. And boom. And boom. <clears throat> I've got no card draw. That's actually really annoying. And the Spreading Madness is quite bad with all these, like, you know, one health minion here. There's a Renounce. Interesting. Do I just clear the board and Renounce? Potentially after Life Tapping. Let Use Life Tap to get an extra card draw right now, because a card draw is quite good. I've got lots of health. Okay, we're going to do that. It's pro it may not be the best move, but we're going to do this so that we can do a maximum renounce. So I'm actually, I'll start with the life tap because I want to do that regardless. Okay, that's fine. And I'm going to kill this first so that the death rattle has no ability to do whatever. So I'm actually trading down on my creatures, which is really bad. But now I get to renounce. Uh, pick up an, a new barack. Holy shit, that's cool. And okay, so we can't cast anything right now. So we're a rogue. We've got a Shiv, we've got... Hey! Blade Theory only costs three! It's not complete crap, and an Assassinate. We have no creature drops, which is going to be particularly bad, but at least we can Shiv for another draw. And we can, of course, Dagger Mastery. Unearthed Raptor. Yeah, gain a copy of its Death Rattle effect. Well, I mean, we do have a target here in Anubarak, but I don't think that seems particularly good. So I think I'm going to shiv the 1-1 one, one, and then probably end up knifing it, too. But let's see what we get out of this. This actually could be very handy. Do I play it for... Well, it's not really tempo, because it's just going to get killed there. I think um, I'm going to do this, and I think I'm going to play the Death Rattle, or the uh, the Unearthed Raptor, just, just as a 3-4 body, just for, you know, tempo and board control and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Light and dark. Oh, yeah, I love that spell. Discover a minion, give it plus one, plus one. That is cool. But it's bad for me. Because <laughs> the whole thing is, like, it, it does make the minion cost two more, but it lets, because it does cost two, right? Yeah, it makes the minion effectively cost two more, but it is one, one bigger, and you do get to choose. Reporting for duty. This is going to be a, what is it, get down? Burgle. So I think the right thing to do is to just knife the 1-1, one, one. see what happens secret-wise. Could be an Avenge, but Avenge is plus 2, plus 1, right? So I could still trade to clear. Yeah. Alright, let's do this. It's not, what is it, like competitive spirit? Oh, it might be another um, change your health kind of thing. Well, I think I should burgle now then. See what kind of options I get. Burgle? Is it from the hand? No. Random cards from his class. Divine Favor could be very nice for us. Humility doesn't really make much of a difference right now. Um, so I think we do this. We Do we do this just to eat the secret? I think so. And then knife that. Assuming it's another humility. Or repentance. Whatever. Yeah, I do. I, I I wish I could have saved this to kill a weapon, obviously, but I need to make sure that the repentance is in there when we want to play something a little bit more for serious. You grab the Murloc Knight. Interesting. I mean, it is going to give you Mur Murlocness. Is it a random Murloc? And you got. Oh, the battle cry doesn't trigger though. 
Battle Cry doesn't trigger. Okay, shuffle three ambushes into your opponent's deck. When drawn, you summon a 4 4 Nerubian. That's fun. Uh, change minions attack to one. I think we just assassinate the big dude. So many possibilities. Beneath the ground, assassinate. And. Yeah. You get the ambushes. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter. If we're going to clear the board, we're going to lose this thing regardless. Oh, no, that's not true, because I can use the knife. Derp, derp. I can do that. I can do that. I can do that. I'm still not thinking I'm a rogue, right? I'm a rogue, but I'm also a paladin. Ah, oh, the rallying blade is very cool. The battle... Oh, nice. I'm happy I cleared the board. You... Did you screw up? Did you screw up? Oh, it's plus one, plus one to your minions with Divine Shield. Oh, and then you're going to explode. Which is fine. Good Consecrate, but doesn't really cost me that much. And we can go an Ubrak on my turn. Yeah, no, I don't see any reason not to an Ubrak right now. Unless he's got a Silence, this is going to be fan frickin tastic Um, and I think I can just hit him in the face. I find it unlikely that I won't have the mana to hero power next turn. Neat! I don't own a Nubrak. I don't think. I don't know. No, I don't think so. Alright, that's a little bit annoying. Um. Okay. Blood Mage Thalnos does, should buff the Blade Flurry damage. So, I think the move is Blood Mage. Weapon up. Yeah, it sparkles. So, I could attack first, but there's literally no point in doing it because these things are going to die, so I may as well save myself two hit points. Wait. Oh, yeah, no. Um, that's okay, though. Yeah. I think I was forgetting something. I was thinking, oh, it'll do three, but that's because I was adding the extra damage, but I couldn't actually attack this thing. I don't think I have that up. Uh, I could Divine Favor right now, but it would it would give me one extra card. Hey, the Ambusher triggered. Boom. Now I'm down to 12. He's down to 13. I do have a lot of fat on the board. He does get a couple of taunts, which ain't great. He's Divine Favoring, which cycles one card for him. Now, I can... Do I want a Shadow Step? I don't think so. I think... Warrendu is... Sacrifice over here, see what I get. Knife and kill that thing. Oh, Thistle T, it's crap. I don't think I have another any way to get lethal at this time. So this is going to hurt a little. I mean, I've got a clear, right? Do I just actually want a Thistle T at this point? Because I could still Tomb Pillager after that. Alright, let's do that. See what we get. That's interesting. Because I can go like that plus like that, uh, and I can't kill him, but I could have before, and then go face. Because I could have left him at one. If I had... Mm, I'm, I feel like there's an order there that it could have gotten lethal, and if he hits me for seven somehow, I don't know, use the paladin super magic missile thing, arcane missiles? No, I didn't think so. Whew! Well, there we go! Renounce finally worked out! Um, I mean, we got we got two wins out of this deck, but the first one doesn't really count. Uh, Renounce lock. I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's a better way to do this, and in fact, I'm wondering... I'm wondering if there's, like, better ways to just add more draw. I mean, do we go and... Um, 
well, no, I was going to say put in some Azure Drakes, but that's that's too late. That's not one you wanted. I think you've got to mulligan a little bit harder and stuff. Um, I don't know about these these late game neutral legendaries. I mean, I could unlock some more. But yeah, the late game Warlock stuff, there's no point in looking at it. You never want to be casting late game Warlock stuff because you don't want to have your Warlock cards at that point. Um, I wonder if it's Summoning Portal. No, no, that would be stupid. Hmm. I've got the Hellfire. I might actually want to go double Hellfire and pull out what... I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm sure there'll be a lot of uh, fun Renounce Lock builds coming out in the future. So thank you very much for watching. I'm going to come back with uh, some Cthulhu Druid stuff next. See you next time.